Hey guys, it's Emily with Cozy Clicks, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Cozy Clicks Perfect Portrait Action Set in Photoshop Elements. So we've recently developed a lot of our more popular Photoshop action packs to work with Photoshop Elements. So the ones that are available in Elements will work in Elements 11 and up, including this one here. And if you want to check out more on this pack, you can by going to CozyClicks.com forward slash the perfect portrait. I'll also have it linked below for you guys too if you want to check out more. But let me show you exactly how to use this set. Okay, I have this already loaded up into Photoshop Elements and you can do that by going up to Window, Actions, clicking on these little horizontal lines, going to Load Actions, and then selecting where your actions downloaded to. I'm going to hit the play all button here and I'm going to play all of the perfect portrait actions and you'll see over on the side all of the actions are loading up into the actions or the adjustment panel. Um, and that's what I kind of recommend with this set because a lot of times when you're portrait retouching you're using several of these actions that um, are here in this pack to complete your portrait. You'll notice that all of the layer masks are black. They're turned off. So you're going to get a white soft brush and we're going to be painting on each of the layer mask the, um, the technique or the, the, the look that the action has. So you'll see, I recommend starting down at the bottom. You're going to want to make sure that that layer mask is highlighted. So see how the blue is highlighted around there? If it's not, you're not going to be painting that action onto the portrait. So with that selected, I'm going to grab my white brush and we're going to start and we're going to soften the skin with this one. I'm going to go kind of quick here um, just because it's kind of boring, I think, to watch me um, do all of these steps here. But I would go in and I would just paint the softness onto her skin. If this or any of the actions are too intense for you, you don't like the way they, they look or they look too fake or too overdone, go up here to the opacity and just drop it from 100% to where you like it the best. The next two are the dodge and burn actions. So dodge is to lighten areas and burn is to darken certain areas. And these are important because it gives real dimension to the skin and to your portrait, making it look more three dimensional. So on the dodge action and see how that's highlighted again on the layer mask, dodge is for the lighten. So the areas that are already naturally highlighted I'm just going to go in and I'm going to give them more dimension. Same thing with the burn. I'm going to go into where there, there are already natural shadows and I'm just going to deepen those more right in like that. Once again, if it's just too much in certain areas, go up to the opacity and drop it down. Okay. Skin brightener adds a pretty glow to your skin. Um, I'm going to go all over her and that's too much. You can see the highlights look a little bit too much now. So I'm going to drop the skin brightener down quite a bit. Skin, skin warmth, cool down, and red removal you might not use on every single photo. The skin warmth will do just what it says it does. If you want to add extra warmth to the skin, you're going to paint on where you want the skin to be a little bit warmer. Okay, so I'm just going to add that in there. If you think the skin should be a little cooler, you'll add the skin cool down. Now, the red removal feature is great if um, your subject maybe is sunburned or babies a lot of times have red splotchy skin or maybe it's cold outside and the cheeks are really red. This red removal tool is awesome because it takes that red out. She doesn't have a whole lot of red in her skin, but if we wanted to decrease the redness in her cheeks here, we could just by painting over with that red removal and then adjusting the opacity to get it where we want it to be. All right, the next um, actions in this set are new to the perfect portrait and they're all the foundation actions and they're different tones for different skin toned subjects. You can mix these up so that you can get a foundation tone that works best for the subject you're working with. For her, I think I'm going to pick the light medium foundation, click once again on that layer mask, 
And these Photoshop foundations do the same thing foundations do in real life. They just smooth the skin out and make everything look nice and even and beautiful. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on her. Like I said, you can mix a couple of these up and uh, see what you can create. With the eyes, I sharpen, make sure that layer mask is selected, brush on to sharpen the eyes. Eye brighten is gonna add a little bit of brightness to the eyes. I'm just gonna dab that on quickly. Catch lights are gonna accentuate the catch lights that are already in the eyes. Lashes will make the lashes darker. Right here, that's looking a little too dark for me, so I'm going to take the opacity and move it down, okay? The next three actions are the blush brushes, so they will add either rosy, red, or peach to the cheeks, if you wish. I liked the rosiness that was in her cheeks before, so I'm just going to get my brush. I selected rosy, and I'm just gonna kinda dab it on her. That gives just a little bit of extra uh, blush to her cheeks. Same thing with the lips. These are glosses for the lips. I'm gonna choose natural for her because she's a young girl and I don't want her to have super red lips in this picture, but this is gonna give a nice bit of color to her lips. Shiny hair, I'm just gonna click on that now. That's gonna add some shine to her hair. And then the hair highlights, you're going to add those in just to the spots of the hair where there's already natural highlights and that will accentuate them a little bit more. I might drop that just a little bit. Finally, in this pack is the Teeth Whiten. Her teeth are not showing, but if they were, you would just brush on the teeth uh, to make them white and bright. And that is how you use the Perfect Portrait Action Set for Photoshop Elements. Remember, this is also available in Photoshop Creative Cloud and Photoshop versions 5 and 6, and you can check that out over at CozyClicks.com or directly by going to CozyClicks.com forward slash the perfect portrait. Thank you guys for checking this out and I hope you enjoy the perfect portrait set.